I'm not gonna do what everyone thinks I'm gonna do. Flip out! Brush, I apply the brush, 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 I apply the brush, 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 I apply the brush, yeah, brush, brush, I apply the brush. What's that word, family? Hey, man. Check this out. It appears that somebody didn't let the GDs in the goddamn door. Well, let me tell you this. Within the last few months, the GDs been popping up in all type of doors, man. I think somebody gave them niggas a key, man. In fact, I think they got a master skeleton key. And they popping up in doors everywhere. And the door that they opened up led straight to Lil Durk's concert, man. With some niggas that claimed that they were GDs. Called them out and Lil Durk had to jump off stage and put the drama to him, man. Or did he? Let's watch this video and y'all tell me, did Lil Durk look gangster or did he look like he losing his cool in this whole situation? <laughs> Oh, they getting it in, getting it in, baby. Look, Dirk, shout out. Oh, they jumped off stage right there. Let me hold this right quick, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. It's going up, ain't it? Nah, I ain't gonna hold it. It's going up. Watch the whole thing. A lot of pushing and shoving going on. Wait, 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 wait. It calmed down. It calmed down. Y'all see that shit? I thought somebody would be getting stumped out by now. Stumped out. I thought, what they jump? Wait a minute, hold on. They got back on stage and got the party started. Wait, did they get back on stage? Did they, wait a minute. Did they just get back on stage and start rapping again? Was those niggas still in the front row? What the fuck? Was that set up by Lil Durk, man? Come on, man. That shit, Lil Durk must have set that shit up, bro, man. Because, come on, wait a minute. They got back on stage and started rocking out again? Don't nothing about this whole situation sound right to me. I'm going to tell y'all one thing. Lil Durk is making the wrong choices, bro. Real talk. In my eyes, personally, I'm going to hold the young brother accountable, man, for his actions and what he's doing, man. Now, this don't make no sense, bro. Ain't you on trial for attempted murder or some shit? You giving a judge everything he needs to give you the maximum. Lil Durk, man, in my own personal opinion, has to be one of the dumbest drill rappers ever, bro. Why jump off the stage and do all of that to stop money for a nigga that's hackling you? Why is that? Come on, Lil Durk. We got to move smarter than that, man. It just don't add up to me. It appears to be set up. Now, everybody on the internet want to get up here and say Lil Durk is a real nigga. He jumped off stage. Man, that everything about this video looks set up to me. I've been looking on the internet all day. The only video I got of the incident is from these niggas. I ain't got no other angles. I ain't got the, 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 the after effects of what happened. I'm not saying that it ain't none. It got to be some. Everybody got cell phones now. It got to be some. But where is this shit, man? This shit is really smelling fishy. It's terrible. It's terrible acting by Lil Dirk. It's terrible acting by these niggas that's supposed to be GDs out there. It don't even look right. I told y'all time and time again, Lil Dirk don't make the right choices. Chief Keith, man, like I said, that nigga's a million years ahead of Lil Dirk. Just think about that. When the last time you seen Keith in the courtroom, the last thing I heard about him was some shit 
that happened a long time ago with one of the DJs or one of the producers. Like he he they went in the house and pistol whipped the dude. That was it, bro. But the dude ended up going to jail. That nigga ended up getting like a, a whole bunch of years for prostituting females. That looked kind of righteous. But everything Lil Durk doing ain't looking good at all, man. Considering the fact that he lost his brother earlier this year. He just lost one of the original founding members of 600, like one of his his squads, one of his cliques that he cool with. Just don't add up, man. Don't add up. Lil Durk, you got to move smarter. Didn't the feds just raid your house? You jump off stage. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You supposed to be making PSAs right now about being peaceful. That's what you're supposed to be doing right now, making PSAs. But this nigga so clouded with the fame and the fortune, he don't think reality going to crash down on him, bro. I'm not saying he the reason that E they got killed. But what I'm saying is he's he's a reason that, that, that kept E day in the streets and E day feeling untouchable. Bro. That's exactly what 600 Breezy said. I felt untouchable until E day got killed. Ain't none of y'all niggas untouchable, man. And you got to recognize that. And you got to start teaching your fans not to play those type of games. Them niggas was in your front row, bro. In they town. You visited they town. Y'all jumped off a stage, bro. Come on, man. That shit ain't cool. That's some shit you did five, six years ago, Lil Dirk. That ain't no shit you do today. That ain't what you do today. You made of something else, man. Your father home, I would have thought you had more sense, bro. Y'all could have did a whole campaign of peace in Chicago over the internet so that everybody know I'm not with that shit I used to be with. I don't do that shit I used to do. I want the best for you, little Dirk. I want the best for your family. You know what I'm saying? And when it comes down to it, you got to be the one because you're the leader. You were the one that was chosen by God to have that swag and that flow. So now we need you out here acting like you got that swag and you got that flow and you can stop this violence in the city of Chicago, man. 58 people shot this weekend, eight of them dead. Probably more of them dead by tomorrow. A lot of them in critical, serious condition. Let's think about it, man. We got to think. Because like MC Hammer said, we might have to pray just to make it, man.